Jonathan Frid, what can I say? I didn't, I, I wish he'd bitten me more. I never <laughs> got to <laughs> be fully under his, his powers. But he was a real gentleman and very nice to act with. And it was very interesting, if I recall, his character was meant to be a lot more sinister um, when he came on the show. But I think his, uh, his innate sweetness, I think, shone through. And also his... Um, uh, anxiety about not knowing all his lines and searching for the teleprompter, as many people did, um, resulted in the audience um, feeling differently about him than perhaps was intended. And so there was this this you know great following that he had of you know of people that were devoted to him and not always scared by him. They cared. They cared about him. Clarice Blackburn. Um, was a wonderful, wonderful character actress, um, and she. I, adm I think I admired her acting more than anybody's. And, and there were some very good actors in the cast, but I think it must have been her theatrical training. But there was a depth, and yet she was a character actress, um, and she was so solid and so focused in what she was doing. She would never have cracked up, no matter what happened, and she really was an inspiration for a young actress. Um, and she was in this movie, Pretty Poison, afterwards, and she, uh, she was so good in that. But I don't think she ever really got the acclaim. I think she was known in the acting community as a very fine actress. But I'm sorry that she didn't get more recognition because she was great. Thayer David I got to know because we were, he locked me up as Morgan, Matthew, Matthew Morgan, locked up Victoria or had me trapped somewhere for weeks. And so we had, we only worked together because I was his prisoner and we got to know each other. And um, Thayer was a, he was quite a character. He was very erudite. He'd gone to Harvard. He knew all kinds of things. Um, and he was very witty very well read um, and I'm not quite sure uh, because of that I guess those times together we became friends I don't think we ever might have had that opportunity and also because I forgot my lines once and he really saved my neck um, and so I was devoted to him for that but he was very eccentric he was a recovering alcoholic and but I don't think he ever slipped he was also like um, Clarice, very professional, uh, a very focused actor. And I saw him, they did a musical of uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's that was very short-lived, and he played Rusty Trawler. Um, and I, I helped him with his um, Long Island Lockjaw accent, and that was fun. And he was great in that. I saw, I mean, I'm probably one of the few people who saw that show, because I think it closed on opening night. Um, but he, he could play Sinister very well and they said he was the Laird Krieger of our times then um, but he had he had a dark side to him um, but I was really fond of him I was so glad to be locked wherever that chamber was or I was locked and I got to know him Mitch was uh, I, I really liked working with with Mitch a lot I liked him a lot as a human being um, and I think sometimes I think we go there was a bar up on the corner we go up and have a drink after work and got to know each other a little bit and he was um, he was an interesting man um, and I I trusted him um, that was another thing that was really important um, in a show with the pressures of dark shadows was being able to trust the person that you were working with and somehow Mitch was there was something that I, I I felt I could rely on, on him and um, he was and he had a lot of humanity. There was uh, something I really have cared about.